Hey everybody, my name is Sunny. This week I am going to show you another creative room decor DIY using burned out light bulbs. Now I guess by now you guys know that I love upcycling wastes and turn them into creative crafts because not only is it super friendly for your wallet, it is great for the environment. Anyways, let's get started. Get your hands on some traditional light bulbs. Then squeeze out a dab of black acrylic paint and we are ready to paint the screw cap part completely black. This will be the basket to the hot air balloon. Oh, and lay down some paper on your work surface before you start to keep it clean. I advise using burned out light bulbs because it will be a little wasteful to use a perfectly good one. Paint two layers of black paint and allow it to dry completely. Small tube shaped things will help hold the light bulb still while the paint dries. When it is completely dry, we are going to paint on the details onto the ball part so it looks like a hot air balloon. I first tried painting the details using a very fine brush and acrylic paint. And if you make a mistake, a cotton swab dipped in water will take it right out. The brush was a little hard to control and the lines did not come out as thin and as clean as I would like. And while you paint, you really have to be careful of where you touch so you don't rub the paint off. But I still managed to get the design I want. But for the next one, I tried using a black sharpie. And it was so much easier to control. The lines were cleaner and it dried instantly so I didn't have to worry about smudging. A wet cotton swab also took out any mistakes so I was much happier. You can look up hot air balloon designs online for inspirations. I am going for a vintage historical look but you can of course get creative and do any design you like. Here are my finished designs. I really like them. To suspend it in midair, you will need a little help from a piece of string, preferably clear, and a black button. Thread the string into one hole of the button and out the other. The length of the string should be double of what you need because you are going to fold it in half. Then place a dab of hot glue to the top of the light bulb and glue the button in place. I am really happy with how it turned out. Just look at it flying into the sky. Then all you have to do is hang it up somewhere and it's even light enough to hold with a piece of tape. Thanks for watching. I hope you give it a try sometime and have fun decorating your room. You guys are my rays of sunshine because you make me smile. Remember to subscribe for new DIY inspirations every Thursday and I will see you guys next week. Stay creative!